Hi, and welcome to Vape News TV. On today's show, the American Heart Association issued its first official policy recommendations on electronic cigarettes this week, saying, Electronic cigarettes need to be strongly regulated and quickly to prevent another generation of young people from becoming addicted to nicotine. In its statement, the Heart Association pointed to studies suggesting that e-cigarettes, which contain nicotine but no tobacco, could serve as a gateway drug to addicting young people who may go on to regular cigarettes or smokeless tobacco. The Heart Association statement urges communities and states to include e-cigarettes in their smoke-free laws to avoid renormalizing smoking in public areas. The Heart Association advises doctors to urge patients to quit smoking, but to use nicotine replacement products approved by the FDA, which have been studied for safety and effectiveness. Doctors shouldn't discourage former smokers from switching to e-cigarettes if nothing else helps them avoid tobacco, the policy says. Little is known about the health effects of e-cigarettes, which have been sold in the U.S. since 2007. Thomas Glenn, the Director of Science and Trends at the American Cancer Society, said there was a great likelihood that e-cigarettes would prove considerably less harmful than traditional cigarettes, at least in the short term. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Vape News TV. We will see you next time for more vaping news, profiles, and reviews.